Alex Dowsett is a professional world tour cyclist. He currently rides for Israel Premier Tech and he's an individual time trial and lead out specialist. In the 2020 edition of the Giro d'Italia, he won stage eight from a long range breakaway in which he utilized a seated attack to break away from the breakaway and solo time trial away to victory. My name is Daniel. I'm an amateur bike rider and wannabe YouTuber. I watched that race on the telly and because Alex has a YouTube channel, I feel more connected to him and I felt like when he won, I was emotionally connected to him somehow. So that performance has stayed with me, specifically in his post-race interview when he talked about the benefits of a seated attack, that it might incite less of a reaction from the breakaway group because it looks less dramatic and therefore looks less threatening, when in actual fact it is just as threatening. And that that could have been a factor in him staying away from the breakaway. That and about a bazillion watts, no doubt. By the way, you should definitely subscribe to his YouTube channel because it is loads better than this one. Anyway, I've been doing a bit of bike racing recently at a similar level to Alex and using the exact same power, precision and panache, I managed to win a race. So here it is. It's not quite Italy. It is the Kerbera circuit near Litchfield, Birmingham in the UK. It's not a Grand Tour stage, but it is a 40 minute crit race. There's also not a field of 100 or so riders. There is a field of nine riders, but let's call it an elite group of select riders who made the cut after a grueling stage. So I tried throughout the race to attack the group several times by sprinting away and trying to get away from the group. My teammate used the same tactics, sprinting away from the group, trying to get away from the group. And all of these attacks resulted in nothing. We were brought back each time. There is absolutely no way that I'm going to win a bunch sprint against these elite world tour level riders. So therefore I had to channel my inner Alex Dowsett and think about how I was going to win this bike race. Similar to Alex, I wanted my World Tour third cap glory. I wanted to cross that finish line with nobody around me, arms in the air, celebrating in front of all the fans. So with three laps of the one kilometer circuit to go, it felt like, and this might alarm him somewhat, it felt like a little bit of Alex Dowsett was inside of me. And I urged myself to the front of the group, remained seated, pedaled as hard as my little legs would let me, created a gap, and then absolutely gunned it for the remainder of the race, somehow stayed away, tried to have an emotional finish line, finish, nearly stacked it on the finish line, not quite the same level as Alex Dowsett, and won the race. But it was only thanks to using those tactics, that power and panache that had been inspired by Alex Dowsett that that result came together. I was lucky enough to be able to collect my 10 British cycling points. I've not quite received the World Tour contract yet, but I'm assuming it's in the post somewhere. So let me know down below what tactics or inspiration have you taken from a professional or elite level athlete and used in your racing. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Obviously it's a little bit lighthearted. Please do hit subscribe and I'll see you in another video very soon.